Hard to hear. Hey guys, and welcome to this, the IndyCar Road Series here at Watkins Glen. It's week two, and we are starting on pole position. The first time I've started on pole since season one of 2014. A lot of pressure's on for me. So, see how we go. 27 laps for Represent Apex Racing. We'll see how we go. I'm going to go when the pace car bolts off, because I've been done before. And we go. Let's go. 27 laps, let's go racing. So we've done a eh, reasonable start, I'd say. Yanni's still with us. So I might just use one of the push to passes now, just to, because R6 gear is not good enough. As you can see from Yanni catching us up like a treat on there so I think the ins the boot sections are strongest point as you can see we've pulled quite a bit now on Yanni uh, eight tenths of a second of the gap at the minute so we need to pull away as quickly as possible on here We all need to do a pit stop in this race. Uh, from last week at Mid Ohio, uh, the tyres go really. The tyre wear on the new tyre model is ridiculous in this car, as we saw last week. So there will be a pit stop for tyres and also fuel. So, uh, interestingly enough, we're going to do the strategy of going half and half just to be on the safe side with the tyres. And you can you will see the illustration of the tire wear, well not tire wear, the tire temperatures with the tire temp gauge on the bottom right of the screen. As someone's retired from the race already, so they must have had an accident. But the gap is 1.8 seconds to Yanni. Doing pretty well for ourselves. Just trying to be very consistent and clean. My goal is to try and get a clean run and get no incidents, but that's not going to happen because uh, as many people will probably know from my races I'm not consistent and clean to get zero X's I normally get the occasional one X or two see how we do though Oh, first mistake of the race. Probably gained only a bit on Yanni actually in that lap, I believe. I think we've been too consistent. Yeah, half a second we gained there on Yanni. But it's all good. We built the gap a bit, we'll be fine. Just get to the finish, yep. That's the goal. Damn, that was One good thing about this Indy Road series is there's no cautions. Like it is in the real uh, series. Which is a big boost for me, because I can build this gap if I can. Oh, got a bit too wide. Go on, my it's all good, though. Not trying to hit that curb because you will spin it. Numerous times I've done that this week. Turn nine. The one corner I really despise on this track with the wet with this weather.
Might as well use one of our push the passes. Just get the speed up. Gaps 2.6, I've just realised. Another one's retired. It's better. Better line through turn 9. Up by half a second on the, on the uh, telemetry on the wheel. That's of my best lap in this race. The one you're seeing on the top is my optimal session at time. Sorry, dude, I broke myself. So I've gained three temps there on the fastest lap in the race for us. Near the 28s, which is quite good for us. Wow, the gap's increased quite a bit on Yanni. Jeez, 6.7. What? He must have had a moment or something. No problem, that mind. Got a bit wide. The tyres are slowly going away from us now in the boot section as we did before. We had a lot of grip. Slowly the tyres are going. A bit. Oh no! No, there's only the water. The water. Uh, I think I should be alright. Come on, go, 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 that slight mistake of power, but I think the car's fine. Yep. The car should be okay, I believe. The guy wrecked my car and he's going to finish ahead of me immediately. Now the race is back on again. But it just shows your turn nine's a, a devil of a corner to get right. But it seems that we've got away with it, uh, Tim, so it's not bad. Because the speed uh, difference and the gap isn't uh, to our optimal times not gone down or increasing, so it's good. Not losing speed on the straights as well, which is a benefit. What it is now is just to build the gap again. Uh, don't we tell me to not push, but I really want to get away with these guys. Get them out the 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 gap. As Trevor's got to make a move on Yanni, it looks like. Which is good for me because I can pull away again. So I need to be careful with this corner, I'm just going to pepper it round, straight on the gas. I need to be very careful of that corner now. He's another push to pass, and looking like we've already gained nearly two seconds on Yanni and Trevor as they're squabbling over position.
No. Keep it cool. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about the 1x. Just took a bit too much speed going into that court, into that bus stop. But just shows mistakes can happen. Oh, apparently Trevor's been held up. Nice. Well, that's good for me though, Tim, because we can pull away a bit. And luckily, traffic's 20 seconds up the road, so I'd have to worry about them yet. So sorry, man. Lost it on the exit. Back end step. No problem, mate. Wasn't sure whether you let me through or not. Turned in too early, that's why I lifted. So again, mate, it's on here. No problem, I said. I didn't know whether you let me through or not. Well, Trevor's got yeah, through. I was deep breaking, I saw you on the inside, so I sort of tried to leave some room, and of course, leaving room, I ran too wide, took the pad out, and I thought, hello, back across in front of you. Use a push to pass now. Yeah, no worries, mate, it happened. Come on, I've run the Delara. Some speed. 5.8 seconds now, the gap is between me and Trevor. Oh, I've done it again. Second time in two laps. That same corner. I think Trevor's made a mistake because I've just not lost a lot of time. I have no idea, it still says at the moment. It's a bit battered. It went on its roof, so you never know. I think my front left damaged beside this last race, so I think I might be out. I might look more like a bolt second booty at the moment, so I think my hands should be out as well. Keep it clean, there we go. 6.4, the gap is. Yanni's still fighting with Trevor, so he's not giving up that position. Yeah, sorry Tim, I had to uh, have a little word with my dad. Yeah, it's the end for me. Yeah, that as well. Sorry, dude. Which mean? No no but that's connection issues. No, I don't have connection issues, Tim. Don't worry. The, the L and the Q look fine. Oh, and we've got some traffic up ahead for the first time. He's going to let me through this corner. I believe he is. Not the most ideal way to do that, but thanks, Mark. Oh god, too deep. Oh, Trev disconnected. Wait, Trev's disconnected? You sure? He's still on track on the screen. He's six seconds behind. You sure, Tim? Everyone's disconnecting now. Yep. Oh, Trevor's got through. Doing well for fuel as well. Now that Yanni's gone, or well, Trevor's got past Yanni, the gap between second and third now is just build, building up and building up. It's now nearly three seconds. Yanni's gone backwards, actually. He's not in the top four. What has happened to Yanni? You've got 
Engineers let us know about fuel. Need to temp slower, apparently. See, this is good about Tim because he's a ri he's good at because he is watching me on the stream and also in the session because he can give me feedback on times. So that's pretty good of Tim to do that for me. No oh, tires. The, yep, tires are definitely going out. That mistake there. Now it's the time to really. I think he's probably using his one of his push to passes now. I'll probably say is Trevor, but I'm not too sure. Keep an eye on that fuel as well. Oh god! B missed the apex. Still pretty well, doing well so far. Apart from that mistake we had with the spin, but I'm going to probably not go down to first gear. I'm going to stay in second actually now. as we are now in the approaching half distance oh. off this race what's the gap? 8.4 is the gap now we're slowly increasing our lead Slowly, but it will do. Yes, you should, uh, Amy. You should be. Uh. My only saving grace is the rest of the field will be uh, struggling as well with tyres, as well. As soon as we get some fresh rubber on, we'll be going quick again. Try and get into the 28s. He's now six tenths a lap slower. Mm, we could squeeze another lap in here. Oh, don't you dare go on the grass. You can see now we're struggling now for grip. Oh. Yeah, we can squeeze another lap in here. And then we'll pit next time by. Jay-Z. 
for this to work. Trevor's still... I think Trevor might stay out. I've got a feeling he's going to try and do... But we're going to do the undercut strategy. Fresher tyres, quick times, we can try and build a gap. So that will be quite interesting to do. Hope these uh, back markers will be will be nice and let me through before the pit stops, or I might just stay behind them. Pitting this time by. Might as well let the guys know because it's always nice to let them know. Is this guy gonna let me through, or is he not? Because I. Oh, oh, there we go. Thank you. Now we're into the pits. Yeah, we're going to get away with 56 litres, so... I think Trevor's going to continue out. He is. That may be a risky strategy for Trevor, but... We feel that this is the right thing to do. All the Apex guys have done it, so... There we go. Just wanted to make sure I get into the pit box. And we come out in 6th position, so should be on our way. So we've just got Michael just ahead of us, who's uh, obviously a lap down. Oh, the grip in these tyres. Oh, it's great to have fresh rubber on. Paul's in the pits. Is this guy going to let me through on the inside? Car on your left. Clear. He is. Thank you. Still got six push to passes as well to play with as well. And Trevor's in the pits. Look at the grip I've got compared to this guy, this car ahead. Not gonna play it safe, I'm not gonna really attack him. I'm gonna wait till the straight. Unless he's pitting. Is he pitting? Yes, he is. Gave me a bit of a scare, but we we'll use the push the pass. And are we gonna increase our gap to Trevor or not? And that answer is going to be yes. Maybe. It was nine seconds the time we went to the pits. And we've lost time. We've lost about a second and a half, two seconds. Due to being held up with traffic. We've only got 10 laps to go. What, 11, 12 laps to go? Trevor's getting held up by Michael, it seems. The leader's not pitted yet. Mark's staying out, is he? No, he's in the pits. So Jorg is still out. He's the only man, leading man, to not pit. Might as well use a push to pass now.
Next up is Mark, once again, who's very kindly going to let me through. Really do appreciate that, Mark. I'll say thank you after this chicane because you don't want to make a mistake. Cheers, Mark. Trevor's getting held up massively now. And Jorg finally pits from the lead, which will me will demote denote move me up to the lead once again. And we set a new fastest lap of the race, 29.3. Not what I was expecting. I should be really going for the 28s. Still got that in mind, so we really need to push. Not this lap, because we're already three temps down. But the gap is 10.3 seconds now, according to the relative. Mine to lose. It's true. It's true. Don't really want to be making mistakes now. I can cruise this now if I wanted to, but I'm not taking any chances. Thanks, Mark. Yep. We haven't really uh, used. We've only, we've only used six pushed passes. Oh, pick it over steer out there. Power down as well. A little bit of a drift. I don't want to be doing that now. Through turn one, it's probably the worst one of two corners I really don't like in the F1 car that I've kind of brought over to the DW12. Oh my god, that's a big crash there from that guy. Huge crash. Nice physics there for my racing with Steven's car. With these cars. But it's best to take that nice and slow, like we did. Saw the incident. So we can continue on our way. Maybe wondering where the betting thing is as well. I've kind of got uh, taken that off for the time being. There's been a bit of a problem with it, setting it up. So that will be back for the next stream, hopefully, fingers crossed. Because I know people have been questioning where that has been for the past couple of days. The gap's 12 seconds now to the lead. Yanni's gone up to third now. So I wonder if he did an early pit stop. Oh, he's done a very good strategy. So I've only got eight laps to go then. Don't you dare. See, if I put the power down, I would have crashed. 
So I did the wise thing and just kept it straight. When's my next stream? Well, we have to wait and find out. Push the pass out of the way. I'm sorry, Amy, but that's the rules. And this is going to be a new fastest lap. It won't be a 28, but it'll be a 29 1. Oh, they go wide. Keep straight, keep straight. BT. It's fine. It's all good, mate. Four, five laps to go. No, six laps to go, actually. Five to go. Five to go. Oh, God. Trying to be aggressive there. Oh, the got to slow down. It's the first. Not a slow down in a while. There we go. Let's go. Now I think it's time that I just chill now, focus, as I've got a back marker up ahead that I need to think of now. Just taking it smooth. Fuel's fine.
save my two push to passes for the last two laps of the race maybe lost a bit of 13.6 seconds is the gap to Trevor Concentration now. I've never been so focused in my life here. I'm literally. S the tyres are going. That is just completely j shown. The rears are getting hot. I don't know what you can see on the tyre temps, but I think the tyres, rear tyres, are getting a bit hot. Just a sad. Three laps to go. Uh, yes, it is Yorkshire pudding. It is the DW12. You're watching the Indy Road DW12. Love the name though. Yep, these tyres have definitely gone now. Oh, gotta be careful, there's a caution out, yellow flags out. Need to be very Go careful. Right. There he is, marks in the wall. Two to go. You have about five laps of fuel left. You've got two laps to go. <laughs> Push to pass enabled. Paul's at your phone. Thanks, Paul. No problem. Don't want to do another lap. Oh, I just don't want to do another lap. Bless him. Bless his cotton socks. Trevor's really getting held up, he's 20 seconds behind, I wonder what's happened to him. He's just lost like 7 seconds on me. Must have had a spin or something or he's been held up. Really bad. Does I'll just go over the curb? There we go, white flag. Tires are going really, really bad. They go really bad. I'm just gonna keep this nice and smooth. Use my last push to pass now. Get out of the way and just drive this car home. Keep it. Just keep it on the track. Is the one thing I've got to do now. Uh, at least that's the one corner done. Section of the track I hate.
just the treacherous turn nine, and I'm should be okay. Turn nine's done. Two corners to go. One more to go. Nice and smooth. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. My first road race win of the season. Get in there. Come on. You won. Woohoo. You deserve that win.